Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about an exceptionally useful app, especially if you're currently unemployed, like me. It's called betterpeak.io. This app lets you easily create a customizable AI headshot for your LinkedIn profile picture, CV or any other purpose. You can find the link below, so let's dive in. On the starting page you can see the examples of what you can get using this application and only look at this. After getting just several images, casual images uh, like this one, you can get the professional AI headshot which looks really, really nice. And here several examples of this. So let's get started and press this button here. Here you can find two options, generate headshots for one person or generate headshots for your team or company. Uh, for beginning, let's generate headshot for one person. Here is a three quick steps. You need to upload a few casual pics. This should be at least eight images. It might be just casual photos. And then you need to wait about 60 minutes uh, for generating AI model of you and then just download your new portfolio photos. Okay, let's get started. Here we should choose a different package. Unfortunately, there is no any free plan for quite obvious reasons, but uh, you can choose any uh, plan you like right here, depending on your needs. There are different options for you depending on amount of headshots, starting from 20 up to 120, and different styles. In a basic plan you can find only one style, which ok if you need it only for a specific reason. Here we need to choose a package, so let it be a pro one for testing. Buy pro now. After payment on the next step we need to specify our full name. Of course you won't, so let it be just a Marat. Uh, ethnicity here is a very important moment. Unfortunately I'm not the best person for testing these apps due to obvious reasons. So I decided to choose the best actor for testing this application and this will be uh, Toby Maguire. So uh, we specify Caucasian ethnicity, uh, use case. Mm, so let it be just a dating profile for example and CV resume and social media profile picture. All right. And gender, male of course, I color blue and let's save and press next button. Here we should choose a place for our images. It could be medical, legal and so on. There are plenty of options and I'm sure you can find the best option for you. Let's choose office pictures. Here are some options for a clothing style. I'm sure that everyone know what would be the best clothing style for Toby Maguire. Of course it would be business or formal. So let's choose a formal one. Clothing color black and press save style. Uh, we can choose up to three styles uh, in order to make headshots in a different um, in a different background. So let's create another style. So let it be um, medical one and of course black once again. All right and let's continue. Um, this is a very important step. You need to choose up to eight images of you and uh, this should be uh, casual images not professional of course and they might be close up and looking directly at the camera this would be the best one don't choose uh, images with a fun expressions heavy filters or even with ai pics so let's upload eight images i added some images here and we also can crop them this is very important for achieving the best quality. There is a uh, option for feedback of your images. And you can see the average quality of all pixels, 80%. Photo brightness not so great and photo sharpness is all right. So, you know, I specifically choose not the best images here. In order to test it out how better P could handle with these kind of images. And just only look at this one. The resolution isn't so great. But I think it's a very plausible user case for this app. Because not all my personal pictures in so great quality. So after adding all images we need just press generate button. Here we need to specify our parameters once again in order to provide precise results. He had detected a brown hair, that's true. Short hair, that's also true. And it's straight hair. Yes, that's right. Mm, this is average body 
and there are options with glasses and without glasses. I think the black Spider-Man was, of course, without any glasses, so let's choose no glasses at all. Alright, after 30 minutes of processing, we finally got our images here. And here's some information about all the images that we should expect at least 3 up to 10 good images. And also it's okay, expect a few of them which we won't use. Alright, of course I understand. And we can um, like or dislike our images right here. Well, this looks really, really nice. It It's definitely Tobey Maguire, and I like how it looks. Um, This looks not so natural to my mind, so I would dislike this image. This is better. Mm, okay, it's definitely not Tobey Maguire, so I dislike it. That's also, and this one, and uh, this is better. That's definitely him. Yes, definitely, uh, the same face. How was my experience? Well, it was great, I suppose. That's really nice image on my mind. And I like this one. This one is also great. But unfortunately, there is some artifacts with the hands, as you can see. Not perfect, unfortunately. But I like the overall composition. Anyway, there are a lot of different images and we definitely could find the best images for us. Overall, 53 images. Of course, not every image is great. I think at least 60% um, are usable. So, to my mind, it's not so bad. Uh, surprisingly, this one with the glasses. And this also looks really nice. What I also really like that you can change clothing background and some edits available right here. For this we just should press BP edit button. So let's choose some image, for example this one. And here we can uh, change clothing, background, uh, there are also a magic fix so called. For example let's choose a riser in order to uh, delete this chain. Yeah. And press generate photos button. Uh, here we go, we've got uh, one already two images here, and that looks great. Everything is alright, and we deleted our chain. Overall, I think this is a really great service for creating AI headshots. Of course, you would probably tell me that you can create AI uh, images with logo models, but it's very time and power consuming. You should have at least a moderate GPU, very powerful. It takes at least one hour to train if you're, go if you're gonna use a powerful AI model. This is a really nice alternative if you don't have any spare time and you only need a professional headshot. Uh, there are also alternatives like free apps and to my mind there are a lot of them but the quality which they provide not so great. They looks you know in a some plastic way not so realistic and this is definitely not so good. At the same time to my mind this image also looks you know, plastic to be honest, but the plastic in a realistic way. I mean, you can get the same images from professional uh, photographer, which looks exactly like this. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching and bye bye.